Hi class, so this week we are going to be reviewing composing two digit numbers using base 10 blocks. So you might recognize these, these base 10 blocks. This is a 10 stick and this is a ones cube and we can use these base 10 blocks to build our two digit numbers. So for example, if I had the number 24, let's just go with 24 for example, okay? Um, we know that the number 24 has four ones and two tens. So I can use my base 10 blocks to build that number. My 10 sticks, I can use two of them since we have two tens. And I can use four ones blocks to represent four ones in the number 24. So if I counted all of the little blocks inside my 10 sticks, and all of my ones cubes, I would get the number 24. And that's because one 10 stick is the same as 10 ones. Watch as I build a 10 stick using only ones cubes, okay? So if I counted out 10 ones cubes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then I squished them all together in a line, it would make a ten stick. And that's because we know that one ten stick is the same as ten ones cubes. So that is why we can use these ones cubes and 10 sticks to represent two digit numbers. Let's take another one, for example. Let's do the number 52, okay? We see that we have two, the number two in the ones place. So we need two ones cubes. And then we have the number five in the tens place. So we need five tens sticks. Now we can count by 10 as we put the 10 sticks down to get to the to get to 50 um, to get to the number 50 to build 52 10 20 30 40 50 51 52 we just built the number 52 using 10 sticks and ones cubes now at home you might not have 10 sticks and ones cubes to help you build numbers but that's okay because we know another way to help us uh, build these numbers using pictures of base 10 blocks. And what I mean by that is this. So, so for example, let's say I have the number 63. We have six tens and three ones. So if I make my little chart like this, I know that my tens go here and my ones go here, okay? So now I want to draw my 10 sticks and my ones cubes, and we can make it really easy by just going like this. We can make a ones cube by just putting a dot, another dot, and another dot. I made three dots because I need three ones cubes because in the number 63, there is three ones. Now to make a 10 stick, we don't have to draw a stick like this and then put a bunch of lines. That's too much work or it's, it, it could make our picture look a little messy. So instead, we've learned that all we have to do is put a line, and we know that that represents a 10 stick, okay? So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63. We should have 10 or six 10 sticks. One, two, three, four, five, six, exactly. Okay, so now what I want you guys to do is I want you guys to pause this video, go get a piece of paper and a pencil, and we are going to be drawing our 10 sticks and ones cubes to build numbers, okay? So go ahead and pause this video, okay? And go grab what you need. You can get a piece of paper like this. It doesn't have to be a lined piece of paper. It could be any piece of paper. Say you have something and just some random piece of paper. You could even use the back side of it, okay? You can use whatever you have at home, okay? Now, when you get this piece of paper, come back.
Okay, so you should have gotten your piece of paper. If you still haven't gotten your piece of paper, go ahead and pause the video and go get your piece of paper. Okay, so now we should have our piece of paper. What I'm gonna do with my piece of paper is I'm gonna fold it in half, just like this. And then I'm gonna fold it in half again, okay? All right, now I have four sections. I have one here, two, three, and four. And that's because we're gonna do four questions, okay? So I'm gonna put a number one, two, three, and four. And I'm going to write down some two digit numbers and I want you to do the same thing on your piece of paper, okay? So I'm gonna write down the number um, 71. 46, 33, and the number, the last one I'm going to write down is 65, okay? All right, so now what I want you guys to do is I want you to pause this video and use your drawings of your 10 sticks and 1's cubes to draw these numbers, okay? Um, go ahead and pause this video. Okay, so now that you should have already finished your work, and now I want you to check to see if you got it correct. So now you're just going to watch me do it and um, see if you got it right. If you haven't done your questions yet, if you haven't solved the answers yet, go ahead and push pause and wait. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this. I have the number 71. If I made my chart like this, I know my tens go here and my ones go here. So I know that I need one ones cube and I need seven ten sticks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because if I counted these ten sticks by tens, then I know that I would get to 71. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 71. If you drew seven ten sticks, go ahead and give yourself a star. If you drew one ones cube, go ahead and give yourself a star. Good job. Let's do the number 46. I'm gonna go ahead and make my chart. I see that I need six ones cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I need four ten sticks. One, two, three, four. If you put four ten sticks, give yourself a star. If you put six ones cubes, give yourself a star. Let's do 33. In the number 33, I see that we have three tens and three ones. So I'm gonna put three ones cubes and three ten sticks. If you put three ten sticks, give yourself a star. If you put three ones cubes, give yourself a star. Lastly, we have the number 65. Okay, so I drew my chart. I'm going to do five ones cubes because five is in the ones place. And I'm going to do six ten sticks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice and easy. Now, if I counted by tens, I should get to 60 and then count by ones, count on by ones to get to 65. Watch as I do that. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. If you got six ten sticks, give yourself a star. If you got five ones cubes, give yourself a star. Great work today, guys. We're gonna continue to do this throughout the week. Just a little bit of review, and then we're gonna move into adding these two digit numbers together, okay? All right, thank you guys for practicing with me.